Hi everyone, it's Rio CloudSync. In today's session, I'm going to show you how to configure company branding for your Microsoft 365 organization. The new and improved way of customizing branding within Microsoft has just transitioned from public preview to global availability. When users authenticate into Microsoft Enter ID, it will native, natively provide you an identity and access management service. The default sign-in experience is usually a global fill before you customize any settings. Let me show you what that global fill looks like. As and when your end user authenticates to the Microsoft 365 services, they will see this prompt. This is the global fill Microsoft provides you natively. We can customize this. We can customize the background image, the color, the layout, the header, the footer. We can also enable or disable the show keep user signed in function. If I minimize this and take you to the Microsoft Entra admin console, if you as administrator navigate to entra.microsoft.com, it will take you to the console itself. Please bear in mind you do need to be a global administrator and you have to have the relevant license. The relevant license can include Microsoft Entra ID P1 or P2. First things first, let me show you how to enable or disable the show keep user signed in function. By default, the show keep user signed in is enabled. However, in this instance, we're going to disable it. So if we access the entry console and under identity, we see users, we see user settings. If we navigate here, same principle applies within Azure Active Directory. We'll see this load, but that's not a problem. If we scroll down, we can see show keep user signed in. By default, it's enabled. If we hover over the policy tip, it will give you an indicative on what this button does. If we were to disable this, as and when our end user signs in to the organization, they won't be able to save or remember their sign in session. Now let's see where we can customize the branding. If we go back to the left hand pane, where we see identity. If we scroll down to user experiences and company branding, it will take us to the dashboard of which we can customize the default sign experience or customer customized by browser language. From a high level perspective, all you really need to understand is the default sign in profile here will customize your org as a whole. The browser language customizations kind of specify in terms of what language you have set in your browser and override the default sign-in profile. So say for example, I set up a template within default sign-in. I uploaded my company logo. I changed the, uh, the background color, for example. I then set the browser language customization profile and set it to uh, United States, for example. Anyone who is using the United States variation of the browser, this profile will take precedence over the default sign-in profile. However, if you're not using the US profile, default sign-in will apply, and that will apply for, for the rest of the organization. Things you, things you should know before proceeding is the, the, the customized profile does not carry over with your personal profiles. This is only for corporate use only. There may or may not be image and file size restrictions when uploading your, your custom uh, logo, uh, your background image. You can manage your branding through Microsoft Graph API as well as the UI. And you can manage your custom URL or domain using the Realm Discovery or WHR query. For example, if I was to navigate to entra.microsoft.com forward slash West Coast Cloud, it would navigate me to my custom branding sign and experience. If you see here, I've got two options to create a profile. First things first, if I, if I select customize within the default sign and experience, it will give me options. I can upload a image for the favicon, which is just your, um, your, your, your browser image next to your URL. The background image, here you will see the, uh, the, the size and restrictions as well as the format restrictions. 
or the background color. You can give it a hex code. So for example, you do have a, uh, a, a, a company like image or, or branding template you need to use, then you can use the specific hex code to get the correct color variant. If we select next, you then have an option to customize a template, header and footer. This is quite self-explanatory in terms of how you amend this. You just select the, the format you prefer. You, you do also have an option to uh, upload your custom CSS file, which of course you can um, amend in the background as and when you've uh, collated all your, 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 your template in terms of design, you can then upload it. You've got your header logo, footer, which is at the bottom. So if I go back to the image, you've got your footer at the bottom in terms of terms of use and privacy and cookies. And finally, you've got your banner logo, square logo. And there should be an option for self-service password reset as well. So if you have enabled SSPR for your organization, you do have then have the option for the end user to select contact us. If this is disabled, that contact us option will, will be removed. This can reduce workload on your overall support team. And then after that, you can press new review the, uh, the the properties you set and then create and push that out to the org same principle applies if you're selecting browser language customization and you add browser language you just run through the same customization um, just bear in mind you do need to select the language and as and when someone is using this language you specify here this will take precedence over the um, all up default sign-in uh, profile you set any other queries you may have, please do let me know. And thank you very much.